Hi, my name is John Wenick. I'm supervisor at the Marine Academy of Technology and Environmental Science at Amanahawk in New Jersey. I also coordinate Project Terrapin. Uh, my, my background is I'm a, a PhD at a Drexel University um, in environmental science with a focus on the nesting ecology of diamondback terrapins. Uh, diamondback terrapins are a species of turtle that live in estuaries um, and more locally live within the Barnicut Bay estuary and they're a very important indicator of the health of marsh and also of the estuary system. Um, they feed on species that live in the marsh. Uh, they utilize habitats around the marsh, um, including nesting areas that are shorelines adjacent to the marshes and also adjacent to the creeks throughout Barnicut Bay in the systems. Um, they are very important because whatever they're feeding on, um, they can bioaccumulate, um, whether it be toxins or other things that get into uh, some of the organisms they eat, like into shrimp and mussels and snails and crabs and other food sources. Um, terrapins utilize the nesting habitats, especially the females from the months of June through July. Um, the eggs incubate for 60 to 90 days, so whatever goes on on land is very important to them. Uh, once the hatchlings emerge, they have to go back into that marsh system, and that marsh system is where they'll stay for a year or two until they'll grow large enough to go out into the open waters or into marsh creeks and streams. So as a species, terrapins can give us a lot of um, indications about the health of the bay and also the health of marsh systems throughout Barnicut Bay. Sadly enough, marshes are in decline. We lost 30% of the salt marshes around the bay um, since uh, you know, recorded time um, here. Um, we also see a lot of bulkheading and other uh, types of human-made um, structure that is also impacting or negatively impacting terrapins from getting to their nesting sites. Um, we also see other causes of mortality like crab pots where terrapins drown and also roadways that uh, terrapins sadly enough get hit um, by cars. Um, and what we're trying to do with this project is to make people more aware of terrapins conservation and also work with um, nesting areas and promote better nesting and also help to sustain at least populations in certain areas because not, not, not a lot is known about this species as a whole, especially here at Barnicut Bay, and we're hoping to, to provide more information, education, and conservation strategies.